that supposed to do? Disrupt Chankana's magnetic coherence field. Particles will not be able to scatter. Theoretically. I hate it when he says that. What the fuck is it? What the fuck is going on? future AI named Skynet sent a killer cyborg called a Terminator back in time to kill Sarah Connor, the mother of the future leader of the human resistance in the war against the machines. When that failed, it sent a more advanced robot back in time to execute the young John Connor. But the old John Connor sent back another robot to protect his younger self. Sounds confusing? Back in 1984, the idea of an AI sending an almost indestructible robot to kill the mother of an unborn child was pretty ahead of its time and the film, now turned into a giant franchise, has gone on to be a timeless classic. With Arnold reprising his role in Terminator Dark Fate, we ardent fans are thrilled to see him pair up with the legendary Linda Hamilton. It will be a huge mistake not to rank the several flesh-covered robots floating around two separate timelines whom we saw on the big screen. For this list, we're only counting the Terminator with faces and who made their appearance on the big screen. We're leaving out the Sarah Connor Chronicles and the Terminator 2 3D battle across time. On fifth position, we have the protagonist himself. It was quite shocking when the former leader of the human resistance got Terminatorized. Instead of liquid metal, John Connor's new body is comprised of a swarm of tiny nanobots that have slowly replaced all of his normal cells. He can change shape, transform his limbs into stabbing weapons, and do everything that the previous bots could, only better. By the way, in the process of becoming an almost indestructible Terminator, John Connor gained new abilities but lost his mind. Like I always survive, and you always die. Or... You can fight with me, Kyle. Marcus Wright, a proper cyborg, half man, half machine, is unaware that much of his interior body has been replaced by machinery and robot parts, and that grand revelation pretty much ruins his day. Once he becomes aware of his abilities, Marcus takes advantage of his increased strength and ability to directly wire himself into the computer database and help the resistance. Hell. Look at me. That's why I don't trust you. I'm the only hope you have. Showcasing traits of both the liquid metal and traditional Terminator models, the sleek new update from the T-1000 is the first to have a weapon actually built into the exoskeleton and she can hack into other Terminators. Plus her ability to shrug off having her head violently dunked into a toilet is second to none. For this badass piece of metal, we rooted for Robert Patrick's performance in Terminator 2 Judgment Day rather than Lee byung hans portrayal in Terminator Genesis. While the T-800 was imposing and powerful, the lean and mean T-1000 actually feels like a legitimate upgrade from the villain of the first Terminator movie. While future movies trip over themselves to create something bigger and badder, it's the simplicity of this guy that sells him. He's no bodybuilder, he just looks like a guy. Hell, he can look like any guy and has the ability to morph into any shape and transform his limbs into knives and stabbing weapons. Robert Patrick's performance as the T-1000 felt like he was crafted in a bad dream. We 
we saved the best for the last. Sheer metallic terror wrapped in muscles is the one line description for this future bot. The raw intensity with which Arnold portrayed this character made it iconic. Remember this scene? Although he has portrayed this same character so many times over the years, we can't forget the first movie which started all of this and the rest is history. Arnold Schwarzenegger was apt for this role delivering just enough expressions with menacing dialogue delivery. Hey buddy, you got a dead cat in there or what? Fuck you asshole. Many other actors have taken on the role of the rogue terminator but even today when we think terminator it's Arnie that comes to mind. While he reprised the role for the second time in Judgment Day, we got all of the deadly force of the original T-800 but also a father figure capable of love and kindness. She could teach me how to be this great military leader. You have to do what I say, huh? That's one of my mission parameters. Smile once in a while. Smile? We even liked him in the third part as the modified T-850 where Talk to the Hand replaced Hostel of Easter Baby. Talk to the hand. And last but not the least, the creepy smile and grey hair left an impression on the audiences in Terminator Genesis. I'll be back. What? And that was the list guys. Feel free to let us know in the comments below if you agree with our countdown or not. It's all over. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click on the little bell icon to be notified whenever a new one comes out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.